So in box one, we're gonna, shh, guys. In box one, we're gonna further talk about the discriminant. So your discriminant is what's underneath your square root, which is the B squared minus four AC part, okay? Um, finding the discriminant alone is gonna tell you what types of solutions you're gonna have, okay? So for your discriminant, if your value is greater than zero, that means um, positive. So if your value is greater than zero, that means you get a positive number, you have two real solutions, okay? If your value equals zero, that means you have one real solution. So what that looks like as a graph is that if it's greater than zero, that means your quadratic formula or function is gonna cross the x-axis twice. Do you see this? Okay, that's what the, the greater than zero means. The equal to zero, I'm gonna draw it right here. That means that your quadratic formula is sitting on your x-axis and only crosses it one time. So it's just sitting there on the x-axis. If it's less than zero, meaning that it's negative, that means that you have no real solutions, but you have what are called imaginary solutions, which we'll talk about in next unit. And that means that your quadratic is just floating. It never touches the x-axis. So positive discriminant is two real solutions. Equal to zero is one real solution. And negative is no real solutions. Okay. okay. So the discriminant, that's why we talked about finding the discriminant on the other page because it serves a purpose. So if a problem is just asking you what type of solution you're gonna get, you don't have to do the full quadratic, you just have to focus on the discriminant, okay? So in box two, for example, it says determine the number of solutions. Did it say solve this? No. No, it just wants you to determine the number of solutions. So we have negative two X squared. Yes. Yes, in box two. Uh, don't confuse them. Negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0. Okay. And remember, your discriminant is just the b squared. There we go. Minus 4ac. That's all you're focused on here. Here's my a. Here's my b. Here's my c. I'm going to plug them in. We have negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times five, negative three squared is nine, negative four times negative two is gonna give me positive eight. Eight times five is gonna give me 40. And this is gonna give me 49. So I have a positive, Discriminant. So therefore, there are two real solutions. That's fine. There you go. So I have two real solutions. Yes? Can you go back to that other page? Not at this moment. We're running out of time. Yeah, you're kind of on. All right. Let's phone you some more paintings. No, I just wanted to write down that. Wait, can you go back real quick? Like this. Do the math. You multiply out. You got it. I believe in you. All right. So I know. All right. Box two. I would like for you to find the discriminant and determine. So you have two x squared minus three x plus seven. 